Hello, I'm Dr. Raphael Prosodontist, and today I want to talk about uh, a bite splint case. First of all, we should uh, enter the client's name, then the patient's name, in this case, knife guard number one, and then the technician. Then we are going to choose the type of uh, material and procedure we use bite splint and treat the printing or milling. In this case, we are going to 3 print it. And we have a standard, the standard FIGAF, in case that we have missing this. Uh, in this case, we don't have missing, so we choose the standard. And the minimal thickness. Uh, I prefer 0.5 because most of the resins need to be uh, 0.5 millimeter thick in case uh, that you use it thinner than that, it will not print. And the occlusal thickness and the blow cut angle should be determined. And of course, the occlusion, we define it as healthy for the opposing jaw. We don't need the color because there is no color and there is no teeth and we save it. Okay, we are going to design. For this particular case, we need two uh, scans, one for upper jaw and one for lower jaw. As you can see, uh, in case you uh, use PLY, you can have the colors uh, as they are scanned in the mouse. Okay, in this part we are uh, going to uh, determine the blow cut angle and uh, offset angle and allow undercut. We should talk about this uh, in detail. Oh, good. Uh, the best angle we choose is the angle that allow us to have undercuts evenly spread it. And uh, in case that we want tighter or looser uh, splint, we can use offsets. Offset means that we have uh, or bite splint 0 0.03 millimeters away from the teeth. As you can see in the cut section, we are uh, almost attached to the teeth, but we increase it to 0 0.6 and let's see what's up. Okay, we have lots of space between teeth and uh, the bottom of the bite splint and it's not good because uh, it's very loose and it's not uh, something usable. So 0 0.09 may be a good choice. It depends on your milling strategy or, or your printing strategy and the angle. In case that we want uh, to be loose or in case that we use too much angle, it means that uh, the appliance will diverge from the occlusal to the bottom. And the last part, the allow undercut, means that you're allowing the, your device to use the undercuts uh, under point, till 0 0.5 millimeters. Uh, but, uh, of course, using too much undercut uh, doesn't allow your device to get off easily and it doesn't allow uh, this appliance to sit completely. Okay, so we should use these numbers wisely. And uh, the next thing we should talk about is a small thing and minimum thickness. Uh, the minimum thickness 0.5 is good. Uh, as I told you, there are lots of resins that need uh, at least 0.5 millimeter and smoothing means that uh, how much uh, software allows to use undercuts, grooves, pits and as you can see in case that we use 100% uh, smoothing it means that we are not allowing to use uh, indentations or cusps and fossa. So, we use uh, the presets for the beginning and after a while we can use it as we need. 
in this part we should go to articulator because we are going to increase the byte it should be done meticulously and we should uh, take care of the parameters in this part as you can see we put the jaw in a uh, proper position and we have some uh, guides from the articulator and it's in this case because we didn't uh, use the faceful we just use it with a uh, arbitrary plan that comes with the articulator and we allow the articulator to open the byte a little bit and we also open the byte by ourselves because we need some space for the material the 3d printed material or the milled material to hold the space between two jaws okay and as you can see in case that you alter the uh, bennett angle or the condylar angle you have different setup and it may lead to different uh, 